Welcome back, everybody, to Project Zomboid, the uh, Anton Chigurh playthrough. I'm going to start this video more or less as I have the last five of them. We've killed 5,512 zombies, and coincidentally, we broke our leg the last time. We fell off a roof. I was cheated by the textures. Uh, now I know to be better about textures and texturing. Um, that was very, it was very much a bad idea to fall out a window. Or I didn't fall out a window, I... I jumped off of, a, uh, off of a building. I should not have done what I did. However, one week has passed, and the leg healing time in Project Zomboid for a broken leg is one to two weeks. All that being said, we've still got another week ahead of us, so we're going to be learning and reading books a lot more. It's too bad there's no way to, like, test out some ground and see if it's... Okay, next, break my arm in a car. See, a broken arm isn't actually as bad. You can, st you can like, stomp on zombies with broken legs, and you can push them with broken arms. Despite the fact that they're broken. I don't know why I didn't make this up. Um, here we've got a good dank machine right here. We're going to get some of this good purple flirt. Wasn't purple flirt probably drank, don't you think? Remember from Jimmy Neutron? You know that show with the dad who was in the witness protection program? Um, Jimmy Nutrin. I think was his name. Jimmy Nutrin. All right. So, um, honestly, our lives are just crap. I'm not going to lie. Um, breaking your leg is probably the most debilitating thing that you could do in Project Zomboid. I mean, it was a ho absolutely horrible game. Some tacos on me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, somebody, somebody call Taco Bell. Somebody call Taco Bell. Hey, Shreddy Kruger, thank you. For <laughs> thank you very much again. As I said, uh, more Kenshi on the way. Or Kenshi on the way. Thanks for your message. I got it. I got it. Actually, we're going to be doing 500 Statman today, so I'm excited for that. The video's almost ready. Wiping my ass with a broken arm. Now, I've never broken my arm in real life. I'll tell you that much. Um, I did break a leg. Breaking a leg isn't very much fun. Because you can't go, you know? Um, no, I, I did. I broke my leg when I was in high school. The, you know, the music is starting to annoy me again. I... I'm sorry, I like, the I like the soundtrack on its own merits. I've just heard it so many times that for me, it, it just doesn't do it anymore. Um, I'd really like the, them to somehow rip off like a, you know, like a, one of those good rip-offs where it's not really ripping off the original song, but I'd like them to somehow subtly get The Sims music into Project Zomboid. Can I break both legs? I mean, in real life, yes. You'd have to be pretty... You'd have to do something pretty, like catastrophic and sudden to break both legs in real life yes you could break all of the bones in your body i guess is there a reason most animals put are put down after breaking a leg really i mean haven't you seen all those videos on youtube of like the cat walking around with the wheels when it breaks its leg and they're playing that good aspca music in the background like in the arms of the angel you know that kind of thing I've had a pretty good day so far. Yeah, thank you. Your, your, your. <laughs> That's a name. Damn. Now, I'm, after I drink this can of soda while a murderer is approaching me, I, I'm going to try to make up my mind. Now, this might be a... Is this a diner or is this an office? Hey, Mahagis. Mahagis. Uh, bringing me back to Scotland. Thank you very much for that. For the sub, appreciate it. Video of a gymnast breaking both knees on the backwards on a, yeah, like that kind of thing. Oh, God, you know, I used to have like a. You ever go down that YouTube rabbit hole where like you watch people popping cysts and things like that? It's very satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. Probably some of the most satisfying videos to watch on YouTube. You're just watching people drain cysts. It's like, yeah, get all the cyst out of that guy's back. You know, like. It's videos like Draining Dad's Cyst. I don't know why. I don't think that these videos are pr as promoted on YouTube anymore. Maybe there's a reason. Um, I, I can't remember wh why I started saying this. <laughs> why, why, did I, why did I say that? Oh, yeah. I was going down the rabbit hole of watching horrible videos. Um, very good, but it's ki it kind of has these like addictive... Uh, behavior like watching videos can be as addictive as anything else you know 
You gotta learn to put down social media every now and then. One thing I don't do anymore, uh... I don't check how the channel is doing when I wake up. Otherwise it kinda... I, I also wait till a certain time of day to read the comments. Only cause... You get a lot of them when you get over like a hundred... A hundred... Subscribers. And uh... It gets very like... It can kinda hijack your, your thought process about things. Most of them are good. I'd say 99% of them are good, but when I read the 1% that are bad, I just don't do that anymore. Hey, Luna Calc, say thank you for the 200 bits. Love, I love, I love it, even though it took me nine and a half hours longer than a day. The reason I got into PC, hey, thanks. Well, it's, you know, I think that the, the longevity of the learning process is part of what makes it so enriching once you've got, I don't like games that take too easy to pick up, you know? It's, I didn't In earn it. I don't feel like I earned it. Oh, yeah, two months. Oh, hey. Hey, Cheeky Break It. And Dutiful Kyle, thanks for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Maybe like one of those Hindu cows. Like one of those very humble Hindu cows, you know? Chips. Chips. Cerberus. Chips. Dumbledore. All right, there they go. Okay, uh, let's see. Drink all of this garbage. Our unhappiness is also being reduced by drinking soda. Now, we want to get to well-fed. I think that's the one at which our healing rate improves. I'm going to go ahead and just put down this water bottle. There's no reason stockpiling all this water anymore. I just We could get a lot of bottles of water, but I just find that it becomes weighty and too difficult to carry around, you know? Like a civilized person. Put all of this down on the ground. There it is. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, let's see. We're we're gonna go back over to our crap apartment building. Um, <laughs> look at the sped up hobbling. Mm. Is there a zombie there? See, the thing is, I can't even really tell with this city with the way that the building cutouts work sometimes. See what I mean? Like, I can't see right in front of me. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't really even mean to do that. Alright, but the main point is that we're indoors. We can drink all of this shit. And then, uh, take that, drink that, put that on the ground. Okay, now we have been trying to, like, raise our strength and fit. We're gonna try to raise our fitness this video. I didn't really go over my goals, but I want my leg to recover most of all. Um, and once the leg is recovered... Then we're going to try to get back into the weight loss. We haven't really had a chance to lose weight. And we're actually gaining weight again because we've been trying to stay well fed so that we recover faster. Um, but what I might just do here is like, honestly, just like spend the entire day resting. I'm going to go pick up a book and read. The best thing that you can do when you're hurt like this is just read, I figure. There's nothing quite like when I sit, nah, you know. You could always just, if I don't say hello at the beginning, I'd hate to be boiled down to a, uh, you know, a thing. Like, I, I wouldn't want people to always expect that hello. Look at me walking on the couches. Like that Rick James sketch with uh, Dave, Sh remember, stepping on the couch. Uh, that does tickle me. It does. It tickles me. Looks like I gotta put you down. Oh, God. I'm still on the animal thing. Yeah, I feel pretty bad for that for that animal. NWS register annotated. Okay, yeah, you know we're just gonna read some adult magazines. I mean, regular magazines that are not uh, for uh, adults. I just thought that was kind of a weird euphemism. Like, why would they call them adult mag? Like when I was first a kid and I heard about that, I was like, well, yes, of course it's an adult magazine, and like you know, um, uh, like. Who is there? Someone's coming for my for my cookies. Hang on a second. Somebody is trying to sell me something. Uh damn it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to do this the philosophical way. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Farming. Now, farming is a surprisingly easy skill. A surprisingly easy skill to improve at. 
Because humans are descended from farmers. That sounds really close. Yeah, okay, leave it out there. Good cooking mag. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, Zesha. Hey, Zesha, thank you for the thousand bits. Appreciate that, Zesha. Hey, Zesha, how are you? You've, given, you've been very good. You've been, Jesus Christ, you've been very good to me. We saw, I got from one of my mods that message that you were getting sent something. I just wanted to check in the Discord that everything was alright. We handled that very quickly. But, uh, thank you for... Sometimes weirdo stuff happens on Discord. Weirdo stuff. Yeah, definitely not an adult magazine. Definitely not. I appreciate that, though. Thank you, Zasha. Hmm. It saved me 15% off of my... Yes, maybe he's trying to sell me some car insurance. He could have saved me from that Corolla. Now, if you ever do buy a car... I didn't even buy the car yet, but they were trying to sell me their insurance. They're like, you're going to need this. I'm like, I, I was pretty convinced they were good at selling me the insurance. I didn't even buy the car. I bought the insurance without the car. You know, that's what a good salesman will do to you. They'll make you buy the insurance without buying the item. Here we go. Jeek Burphy. There it is. Very nice. Oh, and melted ice cream. Why would that make me unhappy? Now, I've always questioned why this survives so many months. But at the same time, I'm I'm not going to... I think it's a big, a bigger headache than it's worth. I'm old. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry, I missed further. Uh, and yes, saw that it was handled. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I apologize. The one thing that we do have trouble with on Discord, and I wish that there were a better way to... Because we can't do anything about server DMs. I mean, I don't even really have them on because it would just tend to be more than I could really respond to or handle, so we use mod mail now. Um, but the thing was that back when I used to run a server like that, people would just send me angry D. I've told you about this several times, about people just, I would be like commuting to work, and then people would be like, hey, everything is wrong in the server. Kind of kind of hijack the day. Yeah, you want a good, like, you know, uh, work-life balance. I'm learning about this. I'm learning about this. Okay, yeah, so I can't learn about this type of complex sprinting yet. All right, we need we need uh, Athletics Volume 3 right now, I believe. Okay, uh, still feeling unhappy, but we're just going to have to live with that because our lives are just ass. Uh, how are we... Oh, yeah, so we were going to read the books. Let's read this farming book. I'm in zero danger whatsoever here, so I can speed up time comfortably. Um, will it hurt us to be with a slightly heavy load? Not really. Again, we're putting on weight now because of all this crap we're dealing with. With the um, hey, Nuga Citrus, welcome in. Mm, put my life on hold for my hobbies. I'm endlessly nervous of me hanging out in the densest part of Raven Creek. Oh, we spent, I'd say, like three videos trying to uh, empty out the town. Oh, well, we've also um, we've also cut off the first floor, so we can comfortably, you know. Um, just kind of sit here and do nothing in this way. Eventually, maybe we could get, like, a rooftop garden going. I tried with a lot of rooftop farming back in the Floor is Lava series. Man, we're putting on way too much weight, though. 94. I was hoping to save this weight for later. I'm just going to see if I can... I don't know if the splint actually prevents you from... So it's still splinted. If I remove the splint, it still is fractured. Okay, and I've heard that taking off the splint does not actually hurt it, so it's fine. I don't really know if it helps to bandage. I figure it can't hurt. Opening the can potato. Let's just leave our hunger at this. Now we've got a weird situation here, and this is where calories come in in Project Zomboid, is that you can be hungry and yet gaining weight. And that means that you're managing your calories wrong because, I mean, you could be like, I guess in theory you could be starving and gaining weight. It's weird, but if you eat a lot of like small high calorie foods that's going to create that type of situation very bad you want to eat like if you're overweight you want to be eating like berries and stuff you actually would want to follow a diet plan in terms of macronutrients but alas that is not for us alas all right now we're just going to have to live with being bored and sad 
Now, I don't know if I can actually exercise in this state. I'm, I'm not really going to chance it. I'm just going to sit here for the rest of the day. We're going to let our character get extremely bored. Um, we're going to sit here with chip, penny, and used napkin until tomorrow. Um, and we're going to like it. And we're going to like it. Put this melted ice cream on the floor. Now we're not over encumbered. Good. Um, and I'm honestly just going to kind of like sit here and starve myself. That's going to be my way of losing weight. We're 95 again. I mean, I was, I've was i gained five kilos since I started. This is way too much. Surprising. Yeah. Weeks to lose weight, days to gain. It's It's wild. Well, that's, I mean, I think it just speaks to how debilitating losing your, or um, losing the use of your leg can be. I mean, it's kind of like in real life. You'd probably put on, well, I can say this from when I did break my leg, you have serious muscle atrophy. Like my left leg, what was it? My right, I broke my right leg when I was like 17. Um, why do I r rate a library for magazines and such? Depression isn't really bad when you don't have to do anything. Like if I were going out on a looting run, the depression would be really bad. Um, and I'll want to end it cleanly at once. But like right now, having depress I have time on my hands, so having depression isn't actually that bad. How did we break our leg? We fell off of a roof. Um, again, it was like a weird place for a roof. Let's just kind of speed up time again. Are we better? Nope, we're not better. Just kind of want to keep checking that. Yeah, no, I mean, in real life, if you break your leg, your muscle atrophies pretty seriously. I broke it a while back from a stress fracture. Um, and then my muscle atrophied. So my right leg was like half the size of my left leg. It was wild to look at. Like, it was, it was kind of freaking me out when I first got everything back together. But the great part is that after that, I like I started eating more and like lifting weights and stuff like that because I was just like, shit, I don't. My leg is <laughs> looks, looks like just a leg from a smaller person. So it did heal, and then it actually came back faster as a result of that. The one thing was that running took a long time. Just anything like high impact, I've never done really well with impacts. What is kilograms to pounds? I think ninety five kg is about. What, like 190 pounds? It might be a little bit more than that, too. One thing I could... Uh, okay, Google. How many pounds is 95 kilograms? 95 kilograms is equivalent to 209.439 pounds. All right, so this is... Yeah, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. I, I really like that. I like just being able to ask that. Anything... 95 kg... Two, two, that's close. What do they say? Like, every 50 kilometers... Is about 30 miles or something like that. So that's it. The weird part is that the imperial system doesn't really make much sense. And this was explained to me by uh, a chemistry teacher because he was just like, everything's not in tens. In the metric system, things are in tens. I mean, you know, being American, I... Ooh. We're better. I think we might be better. Yes, but I am I am American. I'm, I don't identify as American, just American. All right, here we are. We can actually, that is a decent clip. Okay, now we can Now we can go back about a normal life. I think we're going to, um, I think we're okay to go now. I really didn't expect it to be quite that short, but that was partly why I went through all of that garbage last time. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna need two books. Um, not really magazines, cause that's just gonna get rid of our boredom. We can get rid of boredom from being outside, but we need to get rid of the depression. To get rid of that, we're gonna need two books at once. We're gonna need to read like, you know, Jane Austen and um, like uh, Dostoyevsky. That would get me in a really great mood. Um, and then, um, <laughs> God, this entire place is just filled with garbage. <laughs> After that, we can have some hope at restoring normalcy in our lives. Now, the other thing, you know, we'll just kind of stick with the hunger. That's fine. We'll play the hunger games. Play out the hunger games. And, um, okay, there it is. The second book. Uh, finally, we can get back on with our lives. Now, we had made it to the police station, and I intend on going, like, right back to the police station today, because... Let me get off of the first floor. The police station had a fantastic store of ammo in it. And we were like just, we were just beginning to take it all up. We had actually found like hundreds and hundreds of rounds of, wait, I thought I had just, 
Oh, I actually took off the glass from somewhere else. It's all these stupid accidents that keep getting me hurt. In good shape, raid the prison, it'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, when, we, when we're faster again, the main thing is that we're overweight and we're not totally fit. Those were the main drawbacks of this character, and he still is limited by those things. Yeah, so we're going to go raid for some more ammo. And then once we have enough 556 five, to, like, comfortably run through town, we're just going to kind of continue with our goal from last time, which was we were um, starting to clear out the streets of Raven Creek. I'm still feeling a little sad. Okay, so we didn't get quite enough bookage. Kind of stinks. But now we have the gun store and... Um, what is the other place? We have the gun store and that ammo, uh, and the police station, rather, to go to. Yeah, if I speed up time, we can always go like this. But is this going to hurt me more? I am in pain, but I think that's from the glass. Yeah. Okay, so we're okay. We should be able to do this. I don't think it's going to hurt me anymore, because we have it splinted. It's possible. In which case, it probably just slows down the healing time. But, I mean, we're well enough that we can go out and, like, find low-calorie food so that we could be well-fed and yet not gain weight. You know, like, we would need, like, a lot of produce or something like that. Probably not going to find it except in the form of, like, a canned tomato or something like that. But we had a good amount of ammo, and I think we want to... Okay, that's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> nice. All right, reload. 100k a year to operate one of those hot dog carts, depending on the location. You have to pay 100k a year to... How does a hot dog cart make $100,000 a year? Who's asking the hot dog cart guy for $100,000? I feel like that more stuff goes down at hot dog stands, you know? Like, I feel like that you could get more than just hot dogs if you ask them for, like, their special... Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, God. Come on. Aim. Aim right. Damn it. There it is. Now, this is a fantastic weapon. I said this about our last weapon, which had a great spread. But this is better, I think, for clearing out, like, the last few remaining pockets in the city. We've got the Scar L suppressed uh, with a good number of attachments. I still feel like we could get a slightly better weapon. But, I mean, we got two drum mags. That's fantastic. If we get, like, a third and a fourth... Even better. Even better. <laughs> Walk and roll. You like that, right? It was pretty clever. Damn. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to clear out some of this glass. But we got a whole kitchen back there. Probably going to be more canned goods. And what am I even thinking? It looks like this place is more overrun than I thought. Maybe we should just head straight for it. Yeah. You know, we're dealing with the upper floors. Let's just head straight for the police station, because I don't think that this place is going to be worth it just yet. Yeah, we should have gone into, like, Zippy Market or something. Yeah, look at that. That would have been way better. But we survived in the police station. We did pretty well there last time, right? Yeah, our gun does love to jam. Well, are we near, um... Are we near... A, no, we don't really near, need a repair. But we're firing really fast, too. I don't know if that has an effect on it. Okay, we just did a successful vault, though. Hey, that's that's something. Um, ooh, we went on the wrong side of the police station. Yeah, this area isn't cleared out yet. How does Breeders improve guns? Or does it just make them more in-depth? Uh, it does a combination of things. So there are some that are kind of there, like, just for show. But it does definitely improve guns in many ways. Please tell me I can get through here. Okay, I'm good. Um, yeah, it improves guns. Yeah, guns. With larger magazine sizes, so you could keep firing more bullets. Um, generally, they they just are better. Um, like, they do more damage. You can also suppress them with Brita's mod. I'm trying to think of other things. It, it improves the HUD, so that you could actually use guns, like, intelligibly. Uh, whereas in vanilla, you don't have, like, your ammo indicators on the top left. It tells you when you're focused, so. Yeah, Brita, Brita is pretty nice. I wouldn't use guns if I didn't have Rita, and I think, uh, I mean, half the reason I'm playing is because I like the gunplay with Rita. 
Don't do the die. Uh, thank you. Such such wow. Such wow. One awesome dog. Should I say one awesome doge? Hey, God bless. God bless you. Uh, okay, so this is what I'm coming back here. We left 14 boxes of 556 five, ammo on the floor. Let's take like six of those. We'll open up. Oops, that was way too many. Uh, yeah, let's open up these. Now, the great part about this is that I don't really have to do any reloading of bullets. See, this is... I have 120 bullets on me right here. He's going to load up all of those. Then we could insert these last 57 bullets in here. So now we've got 120 bullets to fire at these zombies. We just upped our reloading stat way, way higher than it was before. Oh, we've got that dirty bandage on the left arm. Okay, we're scratched. We have more ripped cheats. That's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's no question that we're going to live. Uh, hey, Kimball80. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, the, the nice part, though, is that our leg is... I thought that it was just a sudden thing that your leg healed, but we're doing way better now. The great part about guns, unlike most of the other weapon classes in PC, though, is that they aren't really affected by exertion. It might slightly affect your aiming or something like that. I don't know. But in general, like, look, I can still get kills despite the fact that I'm really exerted. And exertion is really the big killer in this game anyway, so it, it makes sense to use them. All right. So if you go back and find out some, um, or find some low calorie, high filling food. That's what we've been, that's what we've been after this whole time. Excuse me. Now, yes, I am starving. Um, we're, we're gonna fix that. <laughs> I think over here there was the yeah and uh, not not this one okay i don't want to alert that group i'm just going to kind of sneak over here oh wow we can actually sneak is that at full speed i think we can do full speed sneaking sorry snack snack near zombs be very careful when we go over this we always seem to trip over these i think i'm just going to see if i can sneak into this place without even alerting these ones uh it looks like we got one you know what actually i don't really want to Alert the others, but I think it's too late. Do we alert those ones over there? Okay, we didn't alert those ones over there. Let's just see if we can keep this limited to these guys over here. Okay, this gun is decently quiet, too. Like, that's, uh, we can survive with this. Hey, so she says she's so. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits. I got blessed, my friend. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. I actually got Raven Creek, but never played it. Raven Creek is probably my favorite map mod I've ever, I've ever seen. I like the moods of the other ones. Or maybe Erie County by Atox Warrior. That one's got a great mood about it. But there's, like, Raven Creek is objectively a very good map. It's a different experience altogether than you've seen in all of the rest of Zomboid. I'll say this one thing. It's a lot of um, buildings that were made by the community. So you might not always get like the same kind of local flavor that you would get with like an Erie County. I just kind of say that because I think so highly of Atox Warriors work. But uh, who is this? I think the modder is um goes by the name of David Blaine. <laughs> Pretty great name. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, okay. Now we're at max exertion. This is not a great position to be in. Okay, the fastest that we can do is walk. I'm just going to try to keep my distance from this building because we really can't go very fast. Okay, let's also take away the encumberment. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but we're going to eat a cupcake. We're going to eat more high-calorie foods. Basically, do, do as I say, not as I do. All right, put the rest of this in the backpack. Now we're below the encumberment weight, and we're just at high exertion. That's all right. We just need to walk back anyway. We can just be careful. <clears throat> Excuse me. The new Grapeseed map? Oh, I think I saw this, actually. Was that the, um... Oh, that's the one with the big mansion, right? I think Lime played on that one. Yeah, that one looked good. That's a, that, that one had, like, all the townhomes. Yeah, that one would be a good example of one with, like, a nice local flavor. I'd like to try that one out next. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about that one. There's another one, that, too, that somebody did where it was, like, based on the desert. And they don't have grass anywhere. It's all, like, um, sand or, or maybe, like, savanna or something on the ground. 
Um, just a whole, a whole different feel for a map. I thought that was kind of nice because you have this kind of like temperate, uh, you know, like uh, North 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 American forest kind of feel about my, much of the maps in Project Zomboid. And it's nice to see something different. Yeah, I think like close to my heart though, Yuri County is my favorite. I hope he's I hope Atox added in uh, foraging zones. That was <laughs> I did almost starve to death due to lack of foraging zones. I played that one with sprinters though. Low prop low population sprinters is quite a fun way to play PZ. No, you have to be faster with the animations and stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, I think we're getting pretty close now to the healed legs, so let's just kind of go to bed. Yeah. All right, nothing that's going to kill me in the short term. I got a left... I might get an infection on my left forearm, but that wouldn't... Let me just put on another bandage on it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Slap that on there. Uh, does Raven Creek occupy the same area that Lou... Louisville is going to be pretty far in the north. I think they did that on the last news in dev. Yep, okay, we got a little infection. Let's just clean one of these rags. Yeah, it'll be all right, though. All right, let's try removing the splint again. Okay, we still got the fracture, so... Yeah, it's going to be there for a while. Mm, should I wait another day? I don't really want the boredom to ramp up. Maybe we could get the rest of those bullets today. Let's leave all of this junk food in our apartment. God, it just feels like you're living the life of, like, a kind of a sad stoner right here. You know? But with, like, a lot of... Not really with any of the... It's just kind of like your mom's basement. This is the kind of life we're living. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's good. Look at all the shit we have. That's nice. All right. We're very hungry, but we're going to leave it at very hungry because I enjoy suffering. Um, mm, We do want that. Let's take an empty bottle with us. I'll take a, an emergency box of hard mac and cheese just in case if I really... Uh, if I feel the hunger. Alright, let's turn this back off. Um, again, let's just go back and see if we can collect those bullets. I feel like he's running even faster today than he was yesterday. Is he? Yeah, I mean, it seems like it. He's acceleratingly getting better. But this happens naturally at the end of your broken leg, you know. I wouldn't always have to wear my cast and... You know, I wouldn't obey the rules because I was edgy. All right, here we are. Um, there it is. I like that, like that exclamation point thing. Like you did so much damage that it, it, the game doesn't even know how much damage you did. Ah, oh, jeez. Right, we're gonna need more than just what I have in these two magazines, though. Oh, that's quite nice how you could see them onto the different balconies. Look, that one's knocking on the balcony window like she got stuck on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Why am I running? There it is. All right. Ah, shot the shit. Oh, wait, I don't need to shoot the sheriff. I can just break into the police station. Yeah, I can just break into the police station. That's fine. Again. Hmm. All right, key over here. E, who e, vehicle name 70, whatever it is. I don't think these all got names. Poor vehicles, they never had names. And their fathers never hugged them. Amphibious edgelord. <laughs> Playing this one without the audience. Yeah, see, the thing is, I, I sometimes wonder, how do people, like, yeah, I, I would find it, I would struggle to play more than one Project Zomboid campaign if I didn't have, like, an audience for it at times, I feel like. You know, I, though, I was thinking about, like, kind of what motivates me to make videos, and I was thinking back to this time in my life when I would play a lot of indie games, because a lot of people can't get into indie games because they don't have, like, an extrinsic reward, you know? Back when I had an Xbox 360 when I was a teenager, you would play for achievements, and then that just started to feel empty. It was like, well, what are all of these achievements? You know, you... It would be a little weird if you knew somebody who had like fifty thousand gamer score. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily want to be that guy, you know. Um, so what I was thinking about was just like, what makes it enjoyable to game? 
you know, because I, I think we all uh, admire some humans are broad. We all enjoy some uh, some high quality thinking from time to time. But we also need to relax. And if you can combine the two, then it's great. It's like, a, you know, it's like a um, like a cat um, playing a clarinet or something like that. There's two things that never really come together in a normal way. So if you can combine high thinking and video games, well, then that's interesting. I was thinking about why I would play these games like this, and I remember that I got back really, uh, really into Don't Starve a few years back. That's a great game. It's nice. And one thing that the developers at Clay said about Don't Starve is that uh, it's very in just a game that's intrinsically enjoyable to play. You don't really you aren't playing for anything else. I think Zomboid is kind of like that. Yeah. Right click to move in the character to honor. Yeah, that's a good trick. I'm high thinking, right? Ah, I see. I see what you did there. When do you stop wanting to play a save file? When it gets too safe? When you know you're maxed out? Uh, I, I don't know. I think one thing that probably would keep me off from Zomboid would be if there weren't any tension left anymore. I was thinking, like, communities like Rust generally tend to have more players, which means they're do doing, like, a better job at it. I think what keeps people in it is the social interactions. So one thing that I hope that happens when multiplayer comes out is that um, people use their microphones more often. I think that since this game was first released back in, like, I don't know when it was, or when I first heard about it on Steam in, like, 2013, 2012 or so when it was released, uh, I think more people have microphones, that's one thing. Um, and I think that this used to be, like, a very low-res computer game. Like, you could play it on a Mac. I, I remember I played it because I could play it on a MacBook Air. I don't know if you could play it on a MacBook Air. I had it when I was in college. Um, and you just had, like, whoever had the least powerful laptop that was the slimmest was considered, like, a, you know, an, an edgy college student. A dissenting edgy college student. Yeah, something like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I play indies because they would actually work on my computer. Of course, the whole kind of genre of indie gaming has become much more high-res now than it was back then, which is actually something that I kind of lament. Um, partly because I just, I enjoy retro gaming and, well, we never had a computer that worked very well when I was a kid. So it was like, uh, I think we had like my mom's, uh, Mac, like a, a laptop. It couldn't even run Flash or something like that. Or I, I didn't know how to as a kid. Yeah. Cause we had like AOL. Yeah. You would browse on the AOL Explorer. I remember whenever I found, like, a PC with Internet Explorer, I was like, yes, we're going to have fun today. <laughs> uh, like, those those are my gaming memories that I missed. Like, I remember, uh, what was it, back when Addicting Games was good? The original Bloons were coming out? Like, that was... I mean, it was, like, after Rune... Old school... Well, what we now know as old school RuneScape when it was still RuneScape, RuneScape. Th those are like my glory days back when Tony Hawk was yeah I miss that I miss that don't you like those days right you liked you you miss when playing with your Wii was uh you know a, a unique to you you know I remember when they came out with the Wii we thought that it was the Y because we couldn't comprehend that they would call a console a Wii and then we would just giggle and say snarky things. I think that came out when I was... You, they like, couldn't get a Wii, though. The, the whole world went, you know, it was Wii Zania. Wii Mania when, when that Wii came... Jesus. All right, they're going to take down that door in about three seconds. Uh, let's just make sure that our magazine is reloaded here. Oh, Jesus. Backing up. Backing up. It was kind of cool. Had like a Dawn of the Dead moment there. Let's see. Can we? Yeah, we're. Yeah, we don't really even need to wait for the crosshair to touch itself. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, that's what the crosshair is doing. Who am I kidding? Yeah. You see that little crosshair thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you came. You came here to see that. You know. You. Oh God. A filthy mind, filthy mind. Hey, Mud70, successor to Mud69. Thank you very much for the sub. 
Appreciate it. Hey, dutiful cow. You know, thank you for, thank you for, uh, like, being a humble, helpful cow, unlike the other cows, which are resisting and dissenting all of the things that we do to cows. You know, I, we appreciate that. Thank you, dutiful cow. And I appreciate the 500 bits. Thank you. Man, look at those people in there. There's, I mean, zomb zombs. Hey, we're, we're ginger. Where, oh, where ginger. <laughs> That's kind of a funny idea. Sounds like like a Goosebumps book. And thank you, thank you for this up. Oh, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront Two was unmatched mobile game. I forget that game. That was an amazing game. You know, I was I was talking I was talking about the PSP the other day, and I forgot that you could play things like that on the PSP. Yeah, that would make the PSP very. Wait, don't die here. Don't die here, Rob. We're just talking about the merits and flaws of the PSP. The PlayStation Portable. Everyone thinks I'm talking about PCP like primary care provider. Or PCP like PCP. What does PCP even stand for? No, the PSP. The fact that you could have those console experiences on PSP was a special era of gaming. Choose your own adventure goosebumps were my jam and the, an the Animorphs. Uh, the Animorphs always had the best covers. See, that's a nice thing, though, because, I mean, like, it's hard to get kids into reading. And to get them to kind of... Um, I mean, I'll just say this. Like, any time that you can in working with kids, any time that you can give them, like, a choice, uh, like, always is very engaging to them. So, you know, doing that in a book form, or, like, getting a kid to read, like, a graphic novel or, like, a comic book is often a great way to get them into reading. You know, it's like a, it's like a gateway book. I don't mean anything bad or illicit by that, of course, but, um, yeah, let's just end that sentence right there. Oh, yeah, the PSP and the Nintendo, I wasn't really as big, a, I think I had a PSP, but then I just didn't really get any games for it. I couldn't really find many good ones. Well, the, the thing that was exciting about that time of gaming was that, that was when, like, mo um, that was back with, like, iPod Nano, and they were, like, Remember, even, they made an iPod Shuffle that was just so unfathomably small. Uh, it was like, why would, you can't even do anything on it anymore. And then I think they came to realize that, like, no one could see the technology that they were creating anymore. This is back when they were trying to make iPods smaller and smaller, you know. I think the, the iPod, and then suddenly they were trying to make the screens bigger and then everyone just got upset. But now you have options. And that's what I was trying to say about the Animorphs and the Choose Your Own Adventure of Goosebumps is you always got to give people a choice. They like that. All right, let's insert the last of these bullets in here. Is this going to be the last? This might be the last of our 556. Five, I don't know if this will last forever, but we might need to find another police station. It turns out that these ammo canisters, which I wasn't really looking out for, happen to be perhaps the best... Uh, best for this now we've also got those 22 or what is it 223 um yeah here we go 223 rem we have four boxes of these now these can all be converted into the 556 which was brought to my attention the last time this is a very satisfying sound you're gonna like it the only thing you could do with an ipod shuffle was lose it yeah i think it started to get like that I thought it was neat when the iPod Shuffle had no screen, you know? Like, I remember I had one of those. It was basically just like a USB stick. It was outstandingly light, and it was great for running. But then when you started to get a lot of songs, you would find yourself just kind of, like, scrolling for the song that you wanted. I think I think it was... I didn't really understand the purpose of an iPod Shuffle, but it was, it was exciting nonetheless to have an iPod Shuffle. I thought myself like a... I don't know, like a very um, cool individual because I was into music. What did I get? I think I... Was, I got that for Christmas when I was like 10. 12? Something like that. It's when you start getting into music. Start thinking about girls more. You start thinking... You change your hairstyle, maybe. You know? Kid stuff. Kid stuff. Okay, I think our leg is healed. Um, Here it is. Nice. Nice. 
All right, uh, let's... Uh, I'm just debating between eating mac and cheese. Okay, let's try removing this point. I think we're fine. It's possible we won't be able oh, damn it. Still are, right? All right, well, it's fine. You know, it's healing. I think we're even another tick faster than we were before, which means we're probably... The next one will probably be the last round of this. Don't really want to clean it. I prefer the water more. But yeah, look at how much faster he's running. This is great. We're going to feel our character really, like, kind of explode right here. You're going to feel an explosion. Favorite Apple invention was the wire for the earbuds. Oh, wait, the AirPods? I always struggle with that. See, the thing is, with running, it's nice, because you don't have to... Some of the, I, I got... I tried AirPods once. I, I wasn't... I wasn't into them. All this wireless technology. I do... I really feel like an old man at times. Like, I, I don't like... I don't like having too much technology. I still take a lot of, like... I track things about my day, like how much sleep am I getting? I do it all on pen and paper now. Only thing I like is like Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets. You can, uh, it's nice that you can create templates. I wish that you could do that with paper in a better way. If they had something like that where you could do it offline. Like I think the personal digital assistant, the PDA was like the golden age. Wish I were around for PDAs. Yeah, that would have been nice. You know, you don't have to you don't have to be connected to the internet for all of that. The internet can get kind of distracting though, too. That is nice. Yeah, I th really I think I'm an old soul at heart. Ooh. Ooh didn't light up very much. See, this this is where we need a tactical light. Yeah, we get that other entrance. That, look, guys, this is dangerous. I'm not going to do this because you wanted me to come here. Yeah, look, there's another... They're, they're all coming up on my back. I don't like that. Yeah, we're going to go home. You're going to go to your room. You're going to like it. You're going to have a very nice time back home, even though that we didn't get to go to GameStop. You remember when you were a kid and you'd ask to go to GameStop all the time? Man, I really missed that. Like, you'd bribe with your parents. Like if you if you if you let me go to GameStop, I'll uh, I'll make dinner and dessert and um, with your money, you know, <laughs> all of that kind, of, all of that kind of garbage. Yeah, that was back when gaming was exciting. Remember when you used to get excited about gaming as a kid? I miss that. Yeah, that was nice. You liked that too, you know. You you would enjoy the feeling of. Uh, taking the plastic wrap. I miss that feeling though, and we don't get that with games anymore, was back when you used to own like physical games. I remember when a series of unfortunate events came out as a game, and I was like, hype. I was gonna get a series of unfortunate events, the video game. And we went to the store, and I like, I would tear the plastic wrap off, but then the disc was corrupted, and you needed to go back and get another one, and it led to this like, sense of frustration. Yeah. But then, like, it was all resolved eventually because you had to argue with the guy at GameStop because he wasn't getting enough sleep. And then suddenly you had the game of, that you wanted, you know. That was a nice era of gaming, although there were absurd licensing fees because of all the consoles and everything like that. There's some IRL gaming called Tag and my friend felt, and it sliced his cheek open on metal. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus saves a sign. I was worried. That's why I don't go too close to signs. That happened to my dad once. He was cleaning glass or something, and he got this, like, uh, what is it? He got this slice on his chin, and it was, like, perfectly where his chin divided from his mouth. So you still can't see the scar, but he's got a scar, like, right in the middle of his face. Instruction books. Yeah, the instru- And then they stopped even including- Because they realized that nobody read the instruction books. But I remember cheat code books. They would have those, and you could buy those at, like, a school fair or something like that. That was nice. When I first played Super Mario for Super... I wasn't there for Super Nintendo. Like, I, I remember we, we discovered the... Uh, what was it? I think I came into gaming right around the era when Nintendo 64 was ending. I just thought it was amazing that you could put the... Like, the Game Boy games into the Nintendo 64 and play them on the... I still don't remember what they called that thing, but you could do that on an N64 and it was neat. They had Game Boy Player for GameCube. I still... Those things are really expensive on eBay. I had one a while back. 
Do we demand the crow back? Is this a cry from the Discord? Hey, cheers to Brazil, Max Flark. Jesus Christ. Well, I, when I was a kid, I went off a jump with, uh, I was riding a scooter. And my chin hit the ground first. I, like, broke off half one of my front teeth. To this day, I think my dad's, my dad's front teeth are fake. But my dad's mom pushed in my dad's two front teeth. He fell down some stairs when he was a kid. And his two front teeth were, like, sticking out. She just stuck them back in. It's the, that's the hardship they live through in the Depression. PS1 demo. Now this is like, this is my territory. Yeah, the PS1 was where it was at. Man, I miss that era of gaming a lot. It's good times. You can still get a lot of that stuff on eBay. I was collecting it a while back. And I was just like, this is a really expensive hobby. It was, it was, it was really bad. You should, you should not get into game collecting. It's just so... Like, they're all going to be available in some other form. Go to GOG if you, if you must. GOG is good because you actually you own the products that you buy. You just have to put them onto, like, a hard drive or something. So if their service shuts down. I do like them for that. You know, uh, despite all of the crap that got thrown CD Projects, Project Red's way for uh, Cyberpunk. Which, it was fun. I don't... See, people acted like it was some new religion beginning or something like that. Though I didn't experience it for console, I don't know. Like, that was in a p opposition to all of their own... I just... The news was so bad, I was amazed. I was like, it's a video game. I supported that fully, whatever whatever they did. I hope... Th I hope that they... I hope that they got their money's worth out of it. Yes, of course, all AAA games take forever to debug now, but... Why would you, like, you know, the whole internet historian thing on, like, I thought that was pretty hilarious how internet historian, you know, the fall of 76, just all the other merchandise that goes into these things, it's not even related. But I'm like, who gets the Nuka-Cola? And maybe you're the guy who got the Nuka-Cola. Am I trying to clear the city? Yeah. The gun controllers for SNES. Hey, Sunbriar, thanks for the sub. Almost entirely on play well on console and uh for well you console people should just uh you guys should just get PCs. <laughs> I remember when I first converted over to PC. The one nice thing about converting to PC at the age that I did was um back when I was a kid, GameStop was like the main way that you would do games and you would, you know, pawn your games when you're done with them. And I really think that it reinforced like a bad tendency in kids who would constantly be changing their mind. You know, like, I would buy a game, play it. I was not smart with my money as a kid, but I would, like, uh, I would be done playing the game in, like, a week, and I had bought it, you know? It was worth 60, and then they would give me back, like, what, 30 for a new game? But then you just sold back a new game, and it's, like... I, I don't know. It's kind of surprising how, like, that's totally allowed, but technically it was pawning, so you would need, like, you know, your mom's license or something like that as a kid. So that's how that's how GameStop worked. So just when the whole Game Stonks thing came out, I was just like, man, this is really giving me a lot of deja vu. All stuff was neat, but what I was gonna say was that Steam was neat because you could um like you couldn't sell back a game or anything like that, you know? Like it was you you had it in your library, and although you don't really own the game, you it's more like renting the game with Steam. At least it's still there a few years later. So it helped me kind of, like, preserve what I bought more. Hey, Uklar74, thanks for the sub. Sorry, I didn't see that before. And no one looking. Thanks for the gift sub. Converting to PC is the best thing can use. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no... Exactly, there's no generations in PCs. The only thing that could really, like, end your PC gaming would be if this... Like, the distribution platform that you bought from... And this is a lot of people's concern with Steam, because Steam is like a monopoly. It's not a monopoly, but it's... They have first mover advantage. Um, so, I mean, if Steam shuts down, we don't have our games anymore for the most part. Which is why CD Projekt Red is nice. And I like their kind of mission to... I don't know if it's really their mission, but it's... One of the things they do is kind of put your games back into your own hands. But then there's good reasons for developers why, you know, digital distribution is a good thing. It also so just let there are just more games now than there used to be, which is great. Hmm, we are running.
running out of ammo. That ain't good. But we are losing weight again. I, I've accomplished most of the stuff that I wanted to. I mean, are, is our aiming going up, like, at all? Yeah, we're really gonna need that other aiming book. And the reloading just... It's not what it could be, you know? Like, it's gonna take us a very long time to get these next couple of levels. We'll really need a reloading book. But I don't know if there is a reloading book. I think that there's an aiming one, but I have not seen a reloading one. In the EU, we do own our Steam games. Yeah, there's all these other agreements, too. I have no idea how it works in that way. Some things are regionally owned. Like, you own them in one place, but not another. I don't get how that works, right? Still a lot I don't... The thing is that it's... Like... It's getting harder to understand game ownership. Like, it used to be that you had a physical desk, disc. You know, you might not own the rights to, like, redistribute the game, of course. I think that's pretty obvious, though. Like, same thing with a book. But, like, it's not like that the developer or a company can just say, yep, your discs don't work anymore, which is why there's such a big platform for it on eBay. You know, like, especially for old Nintendo... Like, old Nintendo merchandise flies on eBay. It's wild. There's also a lot of faulty Nintendo merchandise out there. Like, there's a lot of fake cartridges. There's way to spot the dif a lot of ways to spot the difference. Just, I mean, as a market, it's interesting. Okay, let's see. One more of these. They're out there. Steam already said they would make it offline and give people ample notice to start filing. I mean... If, is that if they go offline? I, I don't really know, like, Steam's full statements on stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if they had something good like that lined up. Yeah. I mean, though, right now, it's like, you know, if you're offline, you don't have your games. I, I think what I'm trying to say is that as far as the license agreements go, based on what I've researched and what I've heard in YouTube videos and stuff, CD Projekt Red gives you, you know, quote-unquote, more ownership over your games. Um, and that you could do that right now. But, I mean, if Steam does that, well, then you'd have a limited window. You'd have a limited window to download your games. But the thing that's crazy, though, is that, you know, gaming has gotten so good. It's like, I would rather play something that came out now than 10 things that came out 20 years ago. There's a couple exceptions, you know. I'm sure you'll have them. But, I mean, in general, oh, look at that. <laughs> This is the type of thing I think about. You know, when I when I stopped creating a lot of videos back in the fall, I was spending so much time thinking about this. I actually bought a couple of games on, uh, what is it, on, like, my Google phone. The thing that I don't like, though, is that I was trying to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night on my phone. They have it on the Google Store. It was, like, $3. It's great. I, like, I like that that stuff exists, you know. It's very convenient, but the controls aren't the same because you, uh, it's touchscreen controls, and they just aren't the same. If you can get a controller for the phone, I would love to know that because I'd really like to play Symphony of the Night and I can't find anywhere else to get it. Though Symphony of the Night is pretty much an objectively worse game than all of the uh, other later Koji Igarashi sequels just because they control better. You can actually do a crouch slide and things like Order of Ecclesia. I love, and I really got into Metroidvanias this fall. Yeah, like, an, yeah, getting an M into an MMO is kind of like setting yourself up for heartbreak in some ways. Just try to enjoy the experiences for what they are, because they aren't going to be there forever. I know I sound like a jerk saying that. So, I mean, some things practically have been there forever. WoW has been around since, what, like 2000? Like, it's been around for like 20 years. That's, that's an amazing game. Bloodstained is a pretty... Yeah, that was Koji, right? Wasn't that, uh, Bloodstained? I still have yet to play that. That was, like, I was so hyped to play that. And I was just like, man, I can't get way into another... Maybe we'll do that on stream sometime. Sometimes I like to just kind of play things on my own, like, in quietude, because I, I'm not really thinking about what to say over them. I'm just kind of thinking about what's the message of the game itself. Dropping off good vibes, then leaving so I can watch all of this later. Three happy hunting. Hey, Rakrushev. Thanks. Have a good day, my friend. Thanks for the 500 bits. You gave me a lot of bits the other day, too. Jesus. Well, have a good one, my friend. Thanks for coming out. Again, uh, if you guys are just joining us, everything's available on the VOD channel. So if you ever miss anything out on the campaign and you're wondering, just, uh, it's all there. It's all there. 
Hmm, what do I do now? I was really expecting our leg to be fixed by now. I think I'm just going to stay inside a little bit longer. Athletics volume three. Should really go on a book. We should look for a... I, I think the next thing that we should honestly do is look for a bookstore. Once we recover from this, I was hoping we'd find one earlier, but we didn't. Hey, Windrax. Windrax, thanks for the sub, my friend. Appreciate that. La 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 la. La 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 la, sitting on the ground. First time watching the stream, welcome in, Majesty. Friday the 13th, there were so many, but there, I guess that kind of speaks to, when I say that about WoW, there were so many other good MMOs that came out back when I was a kid that just are no longer a thing today. One thing that's really interesting is that um, a lot of MMOs have markets that kind of mimic real life markets in many ways. Like I remember when I was in college, um, there's a really neat concept that is more accessible to, um, people like if you've ever read, uh, oh, what is his name? Michael, he's the guy who did Moneyball, um, and he did The Blind Side. He wrote all of these books. What is his name? Michael something. Go look him up. Um, but he did this thing on high frequency trading. And I remember I took a course where the professor was trying to get us all to learn to code and talk about algorithmic trading. It was really, really neat. Um, it was very difficult, very confusing, but very like educational. It was one of the best courses I ever took. Um, what was they saying? But yeah, actually the guy who, one of his friends who had come in to talk to us, like was really into the Guild Wars market. <laughs> so it was really neat. It was just like, yep, you can learn real life trading in an MMO. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone would really do that, just like gambling away their money, but it was a, a neat way to explain something to a lot of what I would consider we were kind of male geeks. A lot of young male geeks in that classroom. But a, a neat place indeed. This is some of my favorite people. <sighs> yes. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Our leg is healed. We can go back to living the good life. Ah, oh, yes, I have waited for this day. I have awaited this day. We are now free. Now we are free from Gladiator, Enter Russell, and uh, Crow. Now we are free. Mm. Hey, Puppet Ev. Thank you very much for the sub. Have I ever tried the ultimate sound overhaul pack? If it's non-copyrighted, I would like to try that. But I think, aren't they overhauling a lot of it in their game right now, too? Gold farming is a legit... Well, there was another YouTuber who made a, a neat series like this. Um, I think he called it RuneScaping 5 to 9 to 5, where his name's, I think, Dicers with a Z. Um, he's like a... He has just a very pleasant voice, and he does these uh, RuneScape videos where he's like, how much money would you theoretically make if you, like, made rune bars? Or runeite bars, or whatever they are in RuneScape. Nine, as a 9 to 5 job. And I think he calculated it to something like, well below minimum wage. <laughs> it was really funny, but it was just like, if you, you know, um, if you take the conversions that people make to, like, bonds to somehow tie gold in-game to a real-world currency, how much, how much would you make? You know. Or something like that. Game has auctioning. Yeah, I mean, well, there's uh, other channels like Flipping OSRS. Or Flipping Old School. Flipping Old School, that's another good one. I think that, that guy flipped from like a one one gold coin to like a twisted bow. It's wild. I love stuff like that, though. Anything that just kind of like makes video games more, I don't know, analytical in that way is it's a, a, neat, a neat show. Oh, we are getting a lot of jams here now. All right, what are we looking for? We're looking for a bookstore, so keep your eyes peeled for a bookstore here. If you guys see a bookstore and I miss it, let me know. Again, I don't want to look at a map because maps are for yellow billies. Mm. Now, this is kind of like outside of the city's boundaries, is it? 
Eh, let's go look. Well, the other thing that wouldn't be bad for us is we're trying to lose weight. We're trying to uh, we're trying to up our fitness, so we do want to exhaust ourselves a little bit. I'm not gonna get in a car because cars are for um, lazy people. So who can't run everywhere? Yeah, let's go with that. So let's uh, let's just kind of run around town. That's my educational professional background. I majored in English. Uh, had a very good writing program in high school though, so that's. Uh, I got my BA and BS, as they say, you know. Forty dollars for a million in old school RuneScape? Really? Maybe it's better. I guess it kind of fluctuates from time to time, but just kind of analyzing the entire market like that I just find fascinating. It does have like a real market RuneScape. And I think that it goes up around the um or the price of a bond goes up around the holidays. Like for real world seasonality reasons. Like people, um, I mean, people play more more old school at the holidays because they're off and they have more time, so they want to buy bonds more. So there's more demands, so bonds cost more. It's like there's cool concepts like that that are actually played out in real life, and sometimes that's um, actually kind of like a more um, a more staying way to learn economic concepts. And I, I don't know. I mean, any way that you can kind of gamify your life is always is always neat and interesting. Um, I, I'm a big fan of that whole idea. Kind of like gamifying things. Anytime you're time, trying to make a change or improve your own life. Self-improvement is just kind of a... Uh, overspun. What, whatever you think of that whole idea. Here we go, cookies. Yeah, that's a great thing to eat while you're losing weight. The beanie baby market. <laughs> No, but I bet you can get, like, thousands for some of those things. Oh, who even... Oh, I thought that was on the second floor for a second. I was like, am I screwed? Okay, we're all right. That wasn't so bad. What do we do? Oh, we dropped our helmet. I was like, why am I physically changed from... Here we are. All right. I thought I had turned into an anamorph. <laughs> Hmm. I think the best thing to do here is I keep getting lost circling the same three or so city blocks. Let's just make a straight dive into the city. Let's just go one way. We'll get down one good looking block. This looks like a main street right here. Do I have enough ammo? As long as I have enough a I probably don't have enough ammo. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a little bit better. I'll load that up and just go one direction. One direction right here. Is being talked. How far from the Zomboid devs from releasing that? I don't know. I was hoping it would be out by now, but I was wrong. I was wrong. English major working finance in corporate America. Uh, I mean, you know, I think one nice thing about college, and you'll always be like, ah, why didn't I pick something more marketable? Like, you know, there's things I wish I had studied, but it's also like, um, why would you wish away your, your experiences? You know, maybe, maybe that's a stupid thing to say. Yeah, it's all led me to what I've done. But one thing that I will say is that it was very pleasant when I was studying in school to pick, uh, you know, one humanities as well as one kind of quantitative study. I always kind of had both of those sides. I just think it's enriching. The whole person. I think we're all broad like that, too. Don't... Okay, now I'm getting a little... Come on. I was kind of thinking about this l the other day, though, as I lay in bed. I was thinking about, like, um, you know, the kind of way that you uh, let your whole life go by. I was kind of thinking, like, you know, what do I wish I had studied? Well, I wish I had been more open to studying things like what are considered special subjects when you're a kid. You know, like computer science for kids is often considered a special subject. I think that's a misleading name because... The idea in many of these special subjects was often that, like, oh, it's a joke, you know, like, it's not real, it's not a full credit or something like that. And I think that couldn't really be further from the truth because, you know, so much of that stuff is really useful in our modern world. Hmm. Okay, yes, I know that they're knocking at the door. I did this intentionally. I'll be fine. I hope that they don't take down that other door. I just need to make sure that I find the right ammo right now, though. 
Okay, that's enough to probably fend off what's right outside the door. Okay, here we go. Two, two, three, REM. We're just gonna memorize what this box looks like because we might have another transfer to five, five, six. Okay, so now that's a kind of orange and black box. And if we could find another canister of those things, we're really gonna be sitting pretty. Let's just see if we can find that. Another gun cleaning kit is going to be worthwhile, too. Uh, nope. WD-40. Okay, so, oh, this is the, yeah, this is the thing! Yes! I needed that. That's good. Okay, now it's... It ain't no joke. Okay. Hey, Farah Basher. Thanks. Love you back. <laughs> that is so nice. Hey, you're having you have to take all the... Hang on a second. I gotta be very careful. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really like core requirements in schools. I think you should just give people as much choice as they can, especially when they're spending that much on a college education. It's one thing I... I think I went in on that. Uh, maybe at the same point, maybe I wouldn't have the broad knowledge that I do. But generally, you don't retain as much if it isn't guided by your interests. So, like, you know... Like, for example, I went to, um... I mean, as a kid, I spent most of my time in, like, uh... in private schools. Like, you know, just, like, town... little things near me. Like, not, like, boarding schools. I wasn't... we aren't rich or anything like that. But, you know, I went to, like, a small Catholic school when I was a kid where you don't learn math and you learn grammar. <laughs> but what was I gonna say, uh... Yeah, um, you know, like, I sh probably should have placed out of that when I was in college. Yeah, it was like, uh, there's not really, uh, not really any point for me to have done that anymore. Eh, you know, maybe I'll see reasons in it when I'm older, but... Okay, here we go. I guess that's all just to say that choice is a good thing in education. WD-40, yes, WD-40. WD-40 cleans your gun, but not quite as much. So, gun cleaning kit is like, um, it's kind of like the duct tape of cleaning, you know? Or repairing. Yeah, I don't want to run into a bunch of them right there, but let's just... Alright. There we go, okay. Oh, that was a little bit closer than I expected. They keep repopulating this area. But we did find enough bullets now that we could trudge down the street again. Uh, let's... 16 boxes. This is a lot. This is nice. <laughs> okay, let's keep going down the street. That's what we said we were going to do in the first place. We did clear out that entire first half of town, though. I think I'm just going to... Maybe I'll say, like, 10k kills. 10k kills. Then I'll be happy with this character. I think the other thing I wanted to figure out was... Is 10k kills enough to max out? Which clearly it isn't. <laughs> you need like a million if you want to max out your stats, which is absurd. Here they come. Hmm. <laughs> yep, here they come. Okay, 80 rounds, 100 rounds, 120 rounds, uh, I didn't get quite to 120, it's alright, reload, reload add, reload adding, reload adding, yep, Ooh, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, still 27 bullets to go. Now, the reason I chose this gun is because there's less loading. And the magazine as well. And the magazine as well. So that's why, you know, we take drum mags so that we don't have to keep... But look at that. There's not even any hesitation. That's good. That's a good weapon right there. I think we're going to stick with this. I think that's the biggest drum mag in the game, too, on these 5.56. Five, Skills and perks. Yeah, it'd be, actually, it'd be kind of neat to have, like, perks. I don't think Zomb Zomboy doesn't have a perk system. That'd be a cool thing if they added it. A little bit like, in, I think they've maybe taken that a bit too far with seven days. Like, seven days just seems to keep changing back and forth. But, eh. 
Maybe somebody will make a mod for it. It kind of has that, though, I suppose, with, like, the professions, in a way. All right, we're going to go back inside the great indoors and sleep again, just because we keep getting out of breath. But I think by the end of this video, now we've recovered from our... Ooh. I don't know how he's hitting all... He, I, I should be whiffing more shots, right? Look at how exerted we are, though. Oh, I almost missed that one as well. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't want to leave you down here. Okay, very safe. No step on snack. No step on snack. How can they... Yes, yeah, so let's make it eight days to die instead of seven days to die. No, I like I like Alpha 19. I think it's a good update. Where are they? No, they're not in there. Oh, and that was that broken door is from before. Hmm. Let's just sleep in here again tonight. If they do break in, we always will hear the door. Slap. No step on snack, especially when snack slap. All right, still depressed. Still depressed. Alas. Ooh, a buch. Ein buch. Now, books are good not only because they broaden your education and expand your mind, but also because um, they taste great. But also because we'll be able to reload faster when we have this now. I think now that our depression is gone from reading, you know, Moby Dick or whatever we read, um... I think we're gonna like life a lot better now. He's gonna, yeah. Look how fast he's reloading. Wow, amazing. You love that. We can also take that out, put that new one in, and then yeah, reload here. Okay, now we have ten more boxes. Let's open all ten of these, and this can be extreme. Oh! Actually, it's not that heavy. Oh, awesome. Love that. Okay, and then we'll uh, let's clean this. Repair. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Our gun is better. It's strong. It's strong. Wish my depression was like this in-game. You know what I found was good is that, well, I'll tell you about my angsty teenage. I don't think I've ever been really depressed. One thing that's very good, though, is learning to pick up an instrument. I don't think reading will actually make you much less depressed. I think it, it might even make you more depressed in some ways. It might help you move through, but you know. Yeah, pick up like the guitar or something like that. Maybe it's not that easy, though. <laughs> Again, uh, this, is, this is... I should not be giving out medical advice. Eh, I just performed self-surgery. What with my... with all of my medical advice over the last few videos. Yes, people have seen great results from watching the stream. Really life-changing. Yeah. All right, let's just keep moving down the street. Now, we aren't going to keep trying to go back and forth from, like, block to block. We're just going to go this one way. We're going to go one direction here. And then we'll just kind of, like, clear out all around us. Now, this is risky. It is dangerous, but... Okay, back up. Move. 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 Careful. Very sneak. But see, our panic is going down so fast now. He's just like, he's not even phased by this. It's only a slight panic. I know that face looks more than slightly panicked, but please believe me, it's only slightly panicked. Can I write you a script? That could be that could be anything, Sunbriar. Uh, a script for what, like a Shakespeare play? No. Probably not. Eh, you know what? What the heck? Yeah, I'll write you. Yeah, no, I'll write you a script. Or maybe I'll write you a poem or something. Sunbriar. His eyes are like the moon. When Sun Briar uh, eats Briar's ice cream, I do swoon. Thank you. 
That was a poem for Sunbriar. I hope you enjoyed the stream, or are enjoying the stream. Please don't leave, Sunbriar. You have to stay. You have to stay. All right. Yeah, hold the applause. Hold the applause. I know that was an incredible fo uh, poem. That reminded me of Briar's ice cream now, though. I, I've had ice cream in a good long time. It's it's almost May now, right? It's April 29th. The one disadvantage of being self-employed is you lose track of what day it is. You lose track. You're like, uh, is it Tuesday? And then people are like, no, it's Saturday. But that's kind of a nice feeling because it reminds me of a kid being on, like, summer break, you know? Not really the kid, but the experience of being a kid on summer break. Not, you know. Something of which I have fond memories. Okay, now this house had the secret door on it. You know what I mean? Like, this was the one that they all came out of. And they were excited because they thought they were going to be able to consume me. The zombs. But they were not able to because I am strong. Remember. I'm just trying to test if I... if I Can I just still shoot rapidly and get as many kills? It seems like I can. It doesn't really seem like my accuracy is that much worse. Maybe, maybe it's subtle and I'm just not noticing it. Definitely green is better though gotta be hey dutiful cow thank you for the 200 bits and tvd white thanks for the sub puppet eve i'm oh, sorry wait are these old are these new sorry i i, I think i re my, my bad my bad my feed was a little messed up before i do appreciate how do we mod project them we should do a mapping stream once ah uh, god bless sunbriar not self-employed, and I still don't know what day it is. Lucky to remember the month. I was watching this interesting video, though, on Weekend Wednesdays. Was it there? It just randomly got recommended to me on YouTube. It'd be nice if you could see how many bullets were in your mag up here as they get loaded in, but now I'm getting picky. This is a great mod. Hmm. There is the cave. Hmm. Hair Genesis. Genesis means beginning. Hair means hair. Hmm. Toys. How edgy. Hmm. Ooh, we have a nice big fence here. This is like, like one of those crazy people fences. You know, like they have a, a real door next to a chain link fence. I'm always, like, slightly intimidated by that. I think our aim is wow. Such wow about our aim. That's good. Yeah, get, get, get some. Get some. Uh, get, get some. Get some. Get some. Hello. All right, uh, I oh, know this is school. Oh, that would explain the real door and the chain link fence. Do my zombies respawn or no? Or do they, sorry, not respond, respawn. They don't respawn, uh, they look like they might respawn, right? They don't. There's just a lot of them. And they do move around from helicopter event to helicopter event. What is that? That was a really weird... The architecture, like the whole landscape layout of this series, of this city is really nice. I'm just appreciating it as we go through. This is a great place. I like it. You like it, too. Don't lie. Increase in technology, unless I'm talking about centuries, can't solve all medical... Pr when did this... Oh, sorry, you're responding to someone else in chat. I was like, when was I talking about science? Science! Science will lead the way. I feel like, uh, hang on a second, I gotta go fix something. I feel like though that the whole idea, I feel like that the purpose of our lives is to create like some kind of science or technological advancement, you know, like 
I'm in my 20s, but I feel like that the real work of life is going to be in like my 30s or something like that. You know, like I would really like to, you know, you ever feel like that sense of burden? Like, what do you feel like is your, like, you know, I've given up on questions of like, you know, purpose of life. I think those things are valid. I think that the process of questioning that type of thing is good, like unto itself. But I don't think that, uh, I don't think it's a question you'll ever really be able to answer, like buy more widgets or something like that. I was trying to hash this out the other night as I lay in bed. It's stupid questions, you know? Probably you drive yourself crazy with something like this when you're a teenager. You have like a little ex kind of an angsty existential crisis. But then after that, you know, you, you move on to more practical things like, well, I'm getting old and I'm getting facial hair. I need a family and a, uh, a wife and things like that, you know? You move on to questions of that nature, and then you're like, I need to, technology will lead the way, and then you go on like that. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of like the purpose of our lives, is like, develop more technology, you know? That's my, that's my, well, not develop technology, but, you know, something like that. I'd, I'd be troubled if all my contributions were only creative, you know? I, I was thinking about that, like, what has the channel kind of done? What have I done with my life up to 26? I've uh, done other things in my own, you know, like, work life that I'm proud of. But I'm also like, what is this channel going to be? Transhumanism? Transhumanism, power of a PC computer can never be duplicated by the smartphones. Now we're getting into some big questions, though. I suppose that social goods are also another thing worth work. And we really have to get like a philosophy hour. I feel like that'd be nice. That's getting very... But as I go down the street, I, I can't help but, you know, as we trudge through the endless masses, I can't help but think of like these questions on the outside of our journey down Zomboid. Okay, this is great. Look at this. We found this nice big parking lot. Oh, this is actually rather cool. Look at this area. Okay, I'd like to take over this. Yeah. I'm the man. I'm in charge here now, zombs. Everyone get out of town. Oh, look at this place. This is like some kind of... This is like where the sharks and the jets fought in West Side Story. Wow, this is really a whole... Uh, a, a spectacle... Yeah, it looks like you could have some good, like, you know, American story occurring here. Oh, God, look at this. When you're a jet, you're in the parking lot. From the first day, you smoke. Yeah, okay. So, unjam that. Come on. There it is. Ah, uh, that, that Krillarm isn't helping anything. Ooh, there it goes, there it goes. Nah, we're all right. It's probably somewhere else. This place looks fairly well sealed off. I think I'm going to take over this parking lot and assert my will on it. See, like, this might have absolutely nothing in it. Like, is we are slowly learning with these boxes. A cause of upsetment and shame. But are, is it blocked off on all four sides? Hmm. Mm, no. Alright, ooh, supply. Supply! But it doesn't have... It doesn't have ammo. This is just a... A lot of tools right here. No. Somebody left all their gym clothes in here. This isn't polite. Damn it. And all the cardboard boxes have literal nothing in them. Let's just see if it's sealed off on all four sides. I feel like that's worth it. Look at all this makes me realize how good keen hearing is. Holy moly, that lack of sight behind you. Hey, though at the same time with keen hearing, can't you just turn up the volume? Or maybe you can't. Maybe it gives you sounds that you never would have heard anyway. Ooh, we are really winded right now. Well, we could always just close ourselves into a garage with a chair. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Do I have ammo? I don't have ammo. I lack ammo. Fuck. 
fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. I didn't picture myself being in this type of desperate situation. Um... Hang on, this is getting worse by the second. I ran out of bullets. Canoe paddle. Hockey helmet. Ah, uh, this is gonna be- ooh, this is gonna be really bad. Oh, wait a minute. No, this isn't the end. This can't be the end. Hold up. Yes! I'm such a smart boy. Oh, look, there's a bed right there for me. Hang on a second, I gotta get out of range. I really thought that was the end for a second. Dude, I am... 200 IQ. 200 IQ. That does only one- well, now we know that it does only one damage. Smart boy. Are they alerted to me over there? Okay, they aren't alerted to me. I'm saved. Oh, Jesus. I really thought that was... I thought that was it. Come on! Die, damn it. All right, that is it. I... I didn't really... I forgot... I, until the last second, I forgot about, uh... Closing the garage door. That just happened to be... I got lucky there. Otherwise, that would have worked pretty well. Um, let's go see what else there is. Baseball bat is probably better. Attach that to our back. Okay, let's throw down that hockey stick. Hockey sticks are crap. Nobody plays hockey. Uh, <laughs> somebody plays hockey is watching this. is going to get really mad. <laughs> yeah, nobody plays hockey. <laughs> now, hockey is a dangerous sport. <laughs> Scary, son. Love the vids and the streams. One of the... Ah, oh, thank you very much. Try out the long dark. I love the long dark. I haven't played it on stream, but it's a great game. It's a good. It's a good recommendation. Good taste, my friend. Hang on a second. We got to make sure they don't break down that garage door. The population of Canada wishes to know my look. Ha! Canada, and your ducks. Canada goose jackets fly south for the winter. <laughs> I, I jokes on you. <laughs> All right, let's head back up town. I think we're actually, I think we're going to end it shortly. I got to, uh, I've actually, I've been kind of procrastinating on this video. I want to get out some Kenshi in a little while. It's, uh, it's been, it's, it's been kind of rough because I, um, I, I thought I would be done with it like two days ago and that turned into one day ago and now it's, I'm just kind of waiting on it. I kind of want to make sure I have enough time to edit it for tonight because it's, uh, it's going to be hitting you guys soon. And, uh, like I said, there's going to be a little giveaway, so, uh. If you guys have Twitter, I'm I'm just gonna kind of put out a little bit of a little more information for there. Uh, what else? And uh, and Kenshi too, Lo-Fi. Um, they just kind of sent me all their socials, so uh, I would appreciate that. They they're actually a very like um, they're very high quality in terms of the things that they uh, like promote. Like they'll do like good game art or like funny cartoons. Just a lot of people. It's a nice community. Uh, so if you do have Twitter or anything like that, a lot of people think, especially in the uh, gaming community, I'd say that Twitter is all political, but there's a lot of different, like, niches on Twitter, I've found. Um, but it's kind of stupid. I rarely go on that platform, but... Yeah. Hey, dutiful Cal, thank you for the 300 bits, my friend. How's the channel stuff gone, by the way? Hope to see you finally getting some well. It... That's going pretty well. I'm, uh, kind of, like, slowing down over the last couple of weeks. I've been trying to... Focus a little bit more on the stream and the VODs and just kind of like making it a little bit more balanced. Not like mind. video every day. But uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it feels like I have a little bit more like work-life balance. I like that. Um, and just like a lot of uh, kind of behind the scenes, there's a lot of other stuff uh, like moving. I'm probably going to be moving in the next month or two. So I thought it would be earlier, but hey, cool. How are you, my friend? Let's get chatting tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're going to be doing it. I'll put out a little information on that uh, on the Discord or on Twitter or anything like that. Cool. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be nice. I'm going to like this. Yeah. Guys, go hit up Ghoul King too. A fine project zomb zomboider. 
with uh and more than that as well more than that just a, just a, just a lad hey void just happy to see you my friend you've been around a while glad to see that i'm enjoying streaming though flarp can is yeah the flarp can is still good I'd like to make it a bit less of a... I think I'm going to be differentiating it up over the next couple of weeks, though. We, we've been kind of grinding on Zomboid, and I, I like doing a little bit of a grind, but I want to... I don't really like the idea of a normal stream. I want to. I want there to be some differences, so I might be trying out a few new things. We'll still be keeping some of them as Zomboid streams, but I think we're going to call it there, guys. Everybody, thank you for coming out, uh, especially to Mordo Pet for all those gift subs. Holy cow. And Zeke Hatnip. Guys, that was really a lot. Um... Zesha for the, all the dutiful cow. Holy cow, rocker shit. I'm not saying everybody's names right here. I'm just like kind of going down a list who have them seen. So she's ooh, all the time. Holy cow. Guys, thanks for all the stuff. This was a crazy stream. I, I can't believe you guys always amaze me. So thank you very much. I think we're going to wait. Don't don't leave the platform, though, because we're going to we're going to go to uh, some other person who's also good, who's also very good. Um, oh God, what do we do? What do we do? Um, hang on a second. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, you even got a poem. Maybe, maybe someone else will say a poem for you where you go next. Well, if you guys are heading out for the day, have a good one. Um, I think we're going to, we're going to go hit up, we're going to go hit up our friend Mark.exe. Yeah, we're going to, um, we're going to, uh, what is a pun with his name? We're going to use, uh. Oh, I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, we're going to hit up Mark.exe, though. We we like Mark. He's good. He's a good person. You like him. Okay, now when we go to Mark's house, everyone, please remember to say please and thank you.